guys, it is Sincerely here and welcome back to the channel. So today I am back with another video for you all and today I am back with a college student apartment housing, um, I don't know what to call it student housing. I don't know. Um, but this is the build that I am doing today. And of course I got inspired by Discover University because I still, it's been what, like six, seven months since that pack's been out. I really have not discovered university to be honest. Um, you get my pun there? Okay. Okay. I know I'm great. Okay. Not really. Uh, um, but anyways, this is the house we are building today and it has a very unique name as you can see by the title college due in housing or home. Um, one of the two, I'll decide on it later. But anyways, um, for this home, I'm very excited for it. Cause I had a lot of fun doing it. The one thing that I will say that I am still looking at and I'm like it's wrong is the roofing um you guys just saw me doing the roofing just now um but the roofing looks a little off like it's like one part of it's slanted and the other part's like just not slanted so it's kind of I don't know but anyways of course this is supposed to be an English home because Brychester is kind of an Englishy place um of course, um, I think that's what they got inspired by is like English townhomes and stuff like that. At least that's what it seems like. Um, and I feel like that's what I've heard um, by the Sims team. But anyways, that is what I got inspired by. And I do really like this house a lot. I feel like, I don't know, it just gives me so many good vibes, like give me grandma vibes in a sense. So I don't know, I'm all over it. So I hope you're as much over, all over it as I am because I'm kind of obsessed. Um, but I am really excited about this build because I had a lot of fun building it. Oh my God, I just said that, wow. Um, but anyways, that is that for this house. Um, I don't know what else much to say. I found this off of Pinterest or not Pinterest. I kind of got inspired. I didn't find like one exact build and I was like, that's what I'm going to build. No, it was more so like I found a couple builds and then collectively I was like, okay, this is what I'm going to build. So that's what I built. But I definitely got inspired by the slanted roof thing that I've seen in like other um, homes and I have done this in the past, so it's not unique or anything. Um, but I do really like it and I think it adds a little something something to the house. But oh my gosh, guys, um, I had the hardest time with the windows here. I cut out most of the footage. I spent like 15 whole minutes just trying to figure out what the windows were going to be above the top area, as you can see where I'm doing right now. Um, so that was very frustrating. But anyways, how are you guys? I am doing well, um, much better than I was like a couple of days ago. I was like, Oof, girl, I was in the dark place the, the couple of days ago. Um, it was Wednesday and Wednesday was not a good day for me. It wasn't this Wednesday. It was last Wednesday. Actually, honestly, I don't even know when this build is going to go up. So that may have been like five Mondays ago or five Wednesdays ago. I honestly don't even know. Um, but for right now it is actually May 15th. I was going to say March 15th. No, March 15th was when the quarantine started, but <laughs> no, it is May 15th, two months since the quarantine started. That's insane. Oh my goodness. I just remember actually that when they announced the quarantine, I don't know why I'm going off on this tangent here, but when the quarantine started, actually, um, I was at my friend's tea party and, um, my best friend and, um, all of a sudden my mom gets a like a buzz on her phone from like the news app and because you know news is everything and she's like oh looks like we're in quarantine starting tomorrow and so it was kind of a whole thing we're like ah quarantine so that happened but now we've been in quarantine for two months so no complaining here but you know it's been something um so yeah but anyways we are still working on the home obviously um and obviously I tried to go for like a bricky kind of vibe on the outside because that's what I've seen and like these types of townhomes and I don't know I just really like it the one type of townhome that I really want to make is like townhouses that are like right next to each other so I don't know if this is technically a townhome but I want to make like the townhomes that you see in San Francisco I think they're called like the pink ladies or something or is that a type of apple that might be a type of apple well then um I feel like they're called pink ladies though honestly I don't even know um but I would look it up but I'm too lazy so it's probably pink ladies it may not be I don't know um, but I always think of Alcatraz when I think of San Francisco and that really freaks me out so I don't know why I want to build pink lady San Francisco townhomes but I really do but um, I have never done that and I'm just I'm scared I'm gonna mess it up because if you know me you know I'm a perfectionist and your girl just makes everything perfectionisty. So is that even a word? No. Um, but yeah, so I'm very scared that I messed it up. But I also want to do a build of my own house, which has been something I've been wanting to do for a long while now. So maybe eventually one day I shall do that. Um, but that is not today. Today we are building a college townhome. And obviously this is not like your 
regular townhomes because they're not side by side um, as this is a standalone home which honestly I think it's kind of weird where this lot is because it's kind of like in the middle of the town and it's just it's weird I mean I would imagine like some sort of like library here or like a cafe or something or another but no it's a home and I don't know that's kind of weird but anyways it's a home and it's chill and it's a really cool home so yeah oh just now you just saw that flash of white across my screen while I was looking up um the cheats for the what is it called oh my gosh like hidden objects cheat so I was putting those in as you can see right now and I literally am so lazy that I never use those cheats but this is the one time besides like one other time did I use this cheat and I was very happy about it I don't know how long we've had those cheats in our games um but I feel like for a little bit while now we've had the like new like 1000 objects cheat in for our game for a while now and I'm kind of obsessed with it but I never use it because I'm too lazy to look up the cheat and I'm too lazy to write it down so it's kind of a problem which I really should write down and just have it right next to my desk so that it can be like okay reference boom there we go put in here okay yay um but yeah oh my goodness guys so I feel like I have so much to talk about but I also don't so I'm just kind of procrastinating talking about it because I know I run out of things to say so I'm trying to not let that happen here um but it probably will happen I honestly had like a bazillion thoughts running through my head when I was building this home I kept like being like oh I could say this in the speed build and I could say this in the speed build and all these things I could say in the speed build and then when I come to record it it's like my mind is blank I don't know what I'm talking about and I'm just like all over the place so it's kind of a problem but I think we already know this and I feel like my new saying is it's kind of a problem actually I feel like that's been my saying for a while I've always had these things like when I was younger I don't know if you guys ever watched the show but there was a show called Wizards of Waverly Place which it's so popular I'm sure you've heard of it um, it was on Disney Channel one of my baby shows I love that show like <laughs> my childhood man um, but anyways um, that show um, wait oh gosh where was I going with that Oh man. Oh, oh, that's where I was going with it. So with the word Max in the show, he always used to say awesome in the show. And I never realized this until my dad pointed it out to me, but I always used to say, that's awesome. That's awesome. All these things, that's awesome. And then my dad's like, you say awesome all the time. And I'm like, what I do? And I'm like, I got really self-conscious about it. So I stopped saying um, awesome all the time. And I was very aware of it. So thanks dad. But I, I say awesome still, I think. I don't know. Um, but anyways, I hope my mic sounds good. I know we're like um, seven minutes into this video and I'm now asking if my mic sounds okay. I think it does. Um, I, oh, you guys, um, this is so frustrating. So I got a new microphone because my old one broke on me randomly. Um, now this is my third microphone I've gone through. Not from the same company, thank God, because I would have been, I would have already had a different mic at this point if it was from the same company. Um, but this is from... Uh, a different company as the second mic was so this is my third mic from the same as the second company um, if that makes any sense my first mic was really trash I hate it don't get that mic off Amazon um, it was like what was the mic it was like this horrible mic it didn't even pick up on my computer like I swear to god I was just talking to my computer and I wasn't talking to the mic so I honestly don't even know but I did get a new mic and she's beautiful in silver and her name is blue um, she's a Blue Yeti mic and I know those things are so expensive but I'm glad that I was able to get it because I'm obsessed with recording videos so I mean it's a problem but I never have enough time to so but speaking of time you guys I need to clap for this I am finally graduating high school which is very exciting and um, I was gonna say very random but it's not random because it's like almost June and people graduate in June but it kind of sucks because I'm gonna graduate through online, through, through Zoom, through Zoom. Yeah, I'm gonna graduate through Zoom. It's gonna be great, you guys. I'm so excited. Sarcastically, she says that. No, I'm not excited about it at all, you guys. Um, it's annoying. It's really annoying, cause um, last Wednesday when I was really upset, I was really upset because one, my mic broke, and I really wanted to record The Sims new trailer for the Trash Pack, whatever it's called, Eco Living, Eco eco lifestyle I don't know I've heard it a million times um but anyways um I really wanted to record a reaction video to that or some sort of analyst video or something or another like that and um that's when I discovered my mic was broken and I hadn't used it in probably a week and so I don't know what happened to be honest I really don't know what happened but if this mic breaks I don't know what that's telling me I maybe it's a sign I don't know um but 
<laughs> let's hope it's not a sign. Um, but anyways, um, let's just hope this mic is beautiful and pretty and she stays silver. Um, so yeah, but anyways, um, so I was really upset about that last Wednesday about my mic breaking and then figuring out that my graduation was going to be online through Zoom just really sucked to hear. So fun stuff. Um, I mean, geez, just Zoom should get a sponsored for this video because like, honestly, I'm, I'm like, it's, it's my thing now, I guess. I don't know. Zoom, me and Zoom kind of a thing. I don't know. Um, but anyways, um, so yeah, I'm graduating online and that's really fun, you guys. I love that for me. Um, but yeah, I also had my birthday, which I don't know if I've talked to you guys since my birthday. No, I have. I feel like I uploaded a video talking about my birthday or something in or other. But I am officially an adult now, so I can do whatever the heck I want um, with my life, kind of. Um, <laughs> because I still live with my parents and I don't make an income so that kind of sucks um but other than that I'm an adult I can do whatever the heck I want and you know what's funny is when I turn 17 is when you're 17 you can obviously go see R-rated movies and I was like I'm gonna go see an R-rated movie for my birthday and I think I'm just way too scared and innocent to see those things like I'm the most innocent person ever I just I don't know um I guess I will see an R-rated one in my life but that hasn't happened yet since I've turned 17 and now 18 um so yeah but I, I just I'm so excited for them to be like can I have your ID ma'am and then I'll be like here you go you can have my ID because I'm legal um but not legal as in meaning I can um drink alcohol because I live in the U.S. and in the U.S. the drinking age is 21 um which is kind of interesting. It's kind of funny though, because me and my friend were like, oh, we're going to go to Canada. Actually, it was more my idea, which is weird because I'm an innocent person. So I don't know what's up with me. But anyways, um, so as an innocent person, I'm like, I want to go to Canada so that I can drink legally. And um, my friend's like, okay, we'll do that. And she just like, I was like, I can take you on a road trip because she doesn't drive and I drive. And so I was like, let's go. And then, but then my parents are like, you aren't taking my car to go to Canada. And I'm just like, okay, fine, whatever. So I don't know when my trip to Canada is ever going to happen, but I hope it happens soon. Um, so yeah, it is kind of sad because like, um, all these, oh my gosh, I'm just so random right now. Um, but my friend, she, she's my best friend, the one who had, the who I had the tea party with when I found out about quarantine. Anyways, all of that jazz. Um, she, she, so she was like, Oh, her name's Jojo, by the way, because she was in one of my videos, my last year birthday video. She was like, hi, my name's Jojo in the video. And anyways, um, but anyways, so, um, so we wanted to go to Canada and all these things and we might make it happen, but it's kind of sad because like we're both in quarantine, we can't see each other and she's going off to college and, um, I'm kind of going off to college, but not really. So that's ah, kind of a thing, which you're probably wondering right now, since you were 18 and you were graduating high school, what are you doing with your life? Well, um, I'm going to my, um, dandy old community college and I'm gonna community college it for two years until I go off to college because college is expensive bro and I don't want to pay for that so community college it is and you know it's funny because like for the longest time you know I was like so upset that I was going to go to community college like there was multiple reasons why I was going to go to community college and not go to regular college or whatever fun college I don't know what you whatever you want to call it I mean one of the reasons is obviously financial um but yeah it's it's crazy because like literally like college is so expensive, but that's not the only reason. I also didn't want to take my SATs, and that's a fun fact. If you want, if you don't want to take your SATs or ACTs, then go to community college because you don't have to do that. So I was like, you know, I'm just gonna go to community college. And besides, it's literally like across the street from my from my house. So it's like, you know what? I'm gonna go to community college. It's gonna be chill. It's gonna be a great old time. It's gonna it's gonna be fantastic. And hopefully, I meet people. That's my main concern um, because if I'm gonna be doing Zoom classes next year. Oh, bet me I'm gonna not make any friends and it'll be sad and I'll miss my best friend while she's off at college. <laughs> um, so yeah, but it'll be kind of sad. Um, but yeah, what was I gonna say? I was gonna say something else. Um, oh goodness, uh, I don't remember, but like, I guess it's just like, it's gonna be scary going off to college, you guys. I don't know. I don't, I can't imagine being 18. Like you're so young and going off to college, it's just, wow, it's a crazy experience and I'm not ready for it yet. And so I'm glad I'm going off to like community college right now. So it, it'll be good. So yeah, but anyways, we're working on the inside of the house and I just wanted to mention this really quickly. Um, if the furniture, the furniture, what was that? Well, that was a weird word. Um, but if the furniture looks a little like kaboobled, kaboobled, <laughs> <laughs> That's not even a word. Um, if the furniture looks a little like kind of dysfunctional or kind of like, 
I don't know, weird together, all mixed together. Um, that's because it is. I intentionally did that. Um, it's not super noticeable, I feel like, but it's kind of noticeable. And I did that intentionally because I was thinking like, oh, these are college students and obviously they don't have enough money to buy furniture themselves. So they're just getting it from like their parents and their grandparents and all these things. And so I was just thinking that was, that'd be fun to do. Just kind of like, you know, this kind of little thing where they're like thrift shopping and buying their furniture and stuff like that. And I just thought that was, that'd be a cute little thing to do. And I mean, to be honest, actually, um, I have a little bit of experience with this because my sister, um, she's in college right now and she is getting her next, her apartment next year for college and her senior year, you guys, it's her senior year. It's insane. But anyways, um, I'm so sad my sister's growing up. But anyways, um, the thing is, is my sister is going to have to get furniture from my family and of course, her roommates, families, and thrift stores, and all of that stuff, and so I just really thought of that idea, and I was like, that'd be kind of cool to add something like that in this home, like, where it's kind of, like, um, all over the place with the furniture-wise, and I just thought that would be kind of cool to add. I don't know. I was just kind of thinking. I feel like normally when I build, I don't think that, like, deeply about things. I'm just kind of building, and my mind's kind of a mess, um, but this time I feel like I was, like, really, like, intentional about it and I felt good about that so congrats on me very exciting um so yeah but uh anyways um so college all of that fun stuff and I think I oh this is what I was gonna say um I forgot what I was gonna say but now I remember is um I think I told you guys like um uh, maybe like a couple me weeks ago even that I was gonna probably take a gap year but since of this um stupid virus I'm probably not going to do that because that just, it's not really in the plans, and also, I can't really travel anywhere, and that was my main intent of, you know, taking a gap year was to travel somewhere, because I've always wanted to travel, and that was just, like, one of my main things, so, which kind of sucks, because I really wanted to travel, I really wanted to go somewhere, I really wanted to, um, explore the world, and, you know, grow up a little through, um, taking my own life and living it on my own, um, but obviously, I can't do that, so it kind of really sucks, and I'm sad about it, but, on the bright side is that my college, I think, does offer um, uh, a study abroad programs. So I may do that before I go off to college college, a four-year college, and I may just do that at my two-year college and do some fun stuff. But I definitely, my one place that I feel like I mentioned to you guys is my one place that I definitely want to go is New Zealand. Like, that is on my bucket list. I want to travel there, like, every year. But I probably won't because it's too expensive. Um, but no, I want to travel there because it's just... It's such a cool place and it literally just makes me so happy and it just so looks so pretty you guys um so yeah that's really what I want to do but anyways we are now going up to the stairs and up the stairs and we are now on working on the first bedroom um there are two bedrooms in this house if I didn't already mention that which I don't think I did um but there are two bedrooms in this house and they both have one bed so like if you wanted to make this into like a parents and child's bedroom or something like that you could um, I would recommend doing it on the the right bedroom. I'm like I was trying to like get my like I, my mind. I don't know right and left. Um, but anyways, I was just trying to figure that out. Um, I would do that on the right bedroom, which when you're looking forward, the right bedroom. Um, so I would do that in the right bedroom because the left bedroom kind of is smaller and stuff like that. But I tried to make them pretty even. So I think that they're pretty even in size, actually. So if you want to see a master bedroom, you could probably just make one bedroom smaller or bigger or something in another like that. So it's up to you. Um, but this first bedroom, I wanted to use those rainbow hearts because I think that came with um, the camping pack. Oh my gosh, what is it called? Um, oh my gosh, I don't even remember. Granite Falls. No, that's the name of the town. Oh, geez, I don't remember. Okay, it's fine. You know what I'm talking about. Um, but anyways, I really wanted to incorporate that because I just love those rainbow hearts. And I was thinking, I was like, this person is really artsy. So I'm like, I'm going to add those rainbow hearts and maybe they created the rainbow hearts. And I feel like they would be majoring in like art or something. Um, I don't know. I think that's really what they would be doing with their life. And I think that would be something that they would love to do. So I was like, definitely for sure. I'm doing that. So she's like, for sure gonna be an artsy sim or he I don't know one of the two um or they I don't know whoever they are um but anyways and then in the second bedroom is this more I would say linear type of you know uh type a type of person and they their bedroom's all clean and everything like that and they don't really have a mess and um everything like that you know you gotta have one in the other it, it just makes everything a little bit more better so um yeah but more better is not like a a correct sentence but anyways um so 
that's the two sims and the second sim I would say is more science based I don't know maybe they're majoring in science or something I'm not really sure something or another like that but yeah anyways um so I wanted to talk real quick I know we're like at the, almost at the end of this video but I wanted to talk real quick about the new pack you guys oh my goodness I'm very excited about it um I really wanted to make a whole video about this but I was thinking no I'm gonna call way too many people out about this and of course if you're still watching this good for you I'm gonna rant um is I just feel that people are so complainy about complaining about this new eco lifestyle pack and honestly maybe it's not what you wanted but also what do you want and I think that's something that people don't genuinely know um and maybe I'm wrong about that but I just feel like stop complaining like you don't even know what you want yourself and you're gonna buy this pack anyways and I tweeted about that a couple days ago because I was like you know you're still gonna buy this pack anyways even though you're complaining about it you're still gonna buy it you know it's like it's just so frustrating to hear these people just like complaining about things and like just they don't even know what the pack is about and it just it really frustrates the heck out of me and I wanted to make a whole video about this because it just it makes me so sad because the sims team works so hard and of course you know the sims the other sims games compared to the sims 4 is nothing in comparison but also on the same side of things you've been playing sims 4 I've been playing sims 4 and you found entertainment out of it and I don't know isn't that enough I don't know um and it just makes me really sad because people people are just so quick to judge about things and you know I'm excited about this pack I mean we're freaking getting candles that's so cool I didn't even think that could be a thing like that sims could like create candles and then they melt down by themselves like that's so cool you know and so I just think that it's really cool that like we get a pack like that I don't know and it's something really different and I think we're at the stage with the sims where you know we can go with any infinite possibility of whatever they want I mean the one thing that I think every simmer wants and I want this included is a farming pack I would really like that obviously I feel like whoever came up with the idea of wanting a farming pack everyone's wanted that but I do feel like I still hold out hope that like with this next game pack that they're gonna do that that they're gonna do horses in a game pack which that would be really cool and maybe it'll be like a modern farming pack or something like that I don't know that'd be really cool I'm like I have so many ideas that I think that they are still gonna do it but I think they're just waiting for the right moment and also it takes a really long time to get stuff and whatever it may be and they said that they're coming out with a new game pack soon so I don't know I think it's coming and I just think that people are just so quick to judge about things and it just makes me so sad because the sims is all what we're here for and it's all what we're so all a part of and what makes us all happy and so you know it just kind of makes me sad and obviously I don't play sims as much as other people obviously I have a YouTube channel um but I don't play sims as much as other people and I'll admit I'll be the first to admit to that I don't play it as much as other people because I'm busy and I have other things to do and not saying that other people don't I'm just saying that um I just don't make the time for it and it makes me sad um, and maybe if I did make the time for it, maybe I would be more complaining about it and be like, oh, you know, there's not things to do in The Sims and all these things. But no, I do genuinely think that The Sims is a good game and that it w it is a really good game and that I think we can't be so quick to judge about things. So yeah, but if you made it this far, I'm glad you did because I'm glad that you got to hear my thoughts because I hope that you agree or understand to some extent so yeah but anyways um we are almost coming to the end of this build and um yeah that's about it you guys um i do um i do finish um up the outside a little bit i add like a grill and that kind of thing which i honestly don't know if college students would be into grilling i don't know that seems more of like a suburban mom kind of thing um but maybe they are i don't know you never know um but it is from that toddler stuff pack which i love that toddler stuff pack like honestly it's such a cute pack one of my favorites actually um so yeah but i love that pack and i just use a little things a couple little things outside and i'm saving my game a million times because i am obsessed with my game and hoping that it never crashes so yeah but it hasn't crashed yet so that's a good thing um but yeah we are almost done so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you guys all in my next video so i hope you all have a magical day and i will see you guys all next time bye guys mm -hmm.